His sensational leaks raise all kinds of questions about how much surveillance we're all under. Is there an agency in this country keeping tabs on us without our knowledge or permission? And how does the surveillance program in the U.S. affect Canadians? As Shirley Engel reports, even Canada's privacy commissioner isn't sure. With an estimated 90% of Canadian telecom traffic routed through the U.S., surfing sites like Facebook and Google could get you swept up in the American surveillance web. But it turns out Canada's electronic surveillance agency is playing Big Brother too by collecting metadata. The metadata basically is the phone number or the IP address. When they start deciphering a pattern and that becomes of interest, then they push the analysis a little bit further. Documents obtained by the Globe and Mail show back in 2011, Defense Minister Peter McKay signed a directive restarting the government's so-called metadata surveillance program. First launched by the Liberals in 2005, it had been on hiatus due to concerns it could lead to Canadians being spied on without a warrant. Are the Conservatives monitoring the phone and email records of Canadians, yes or no? McKay pointed out it's still illegal to spy on the communications of citizens. This program is very much directed activities outside the country, foreign threats in fact. And Mr. Speaker, there is rigorous oversight, there is legislation in place. Still, experts say between the lines is a loophole. A U.S. citizen is a foreigner for us and a Canadian citizen is a foreigner for the, the Americans. So we can respectively collect information, then swipe information with one another. Piecing together metadata can tell you a lot about someone's social networks and behavior. And given how blurred borders have become online, it begs the question, how is this information used and who gets to see it? It's hard to see how you can provide any reasonable assurance that what you're doing is only tracking uh, individuals who are outside the country. In fact, we know that the program was cancelled several years ago because they couldn't provide that kind of assurance. And it's hard to understand what exactly changed between then and now. A spokesman for Canada's privacy commissioner told Global News so little specific information is known about the metadata program, she wants to find out more. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.